If you want to see how I maintained my silk press, watch this video. Thanks for joining me. So I'm starting here with my bun, taking it down. I haven't detangled. These were during some snow days, been trapped inside. So I just wanted to show y'all how it looks when I take it down. It has a nice little curl pattern as you can see, but it's definitely not falling like it needs to. Of course, you gotta have your wide tooth comb. We, didn't, we don't ever start at the roots. We always start at the ends. So of course we want to take our time, comb little by little, get those detangles out, work in small sections if you can, if you have time. My hair is pretty thick. I have enough hair probably for another person. Just wait so y'all see me revert. But yep, we got it combed out on that side with my wide tooth comb. And we're gonna take care of the other side here in a second. Now that I've done the other side, I'm pulling out any other shed hair I can get just by finger detangling. And I'm pretty much done. So I'm not gonna do much else as far as combing, but now I want to put some oil in. I recommend these oils just for whenever you have straight hair because they're pretty light. They're not gonna weigh the hair down too much. And with your hair being straight, of course your natural oils travel down the shaft a lot better, but you definitely wanna put a little oil around your edges where your scarf is making contact, where you're sleeping and things like that. And then your ends, of course. So I am just putting a little oil, especially getting that nape. I had started to sweat that part out. It was reverting and of course it was growing. So. I did that and I pretty much followed the same pattern. I took my hard brush just to smooth out the nape a little more and to make sure it was combed and stretched and detangled since my natural part, you know, that, that hadn't been straightened was trying to come back through, okay? So we're getting it wrapped up. We're just gonna put it basically like in a large Bantu knot. So I just twist and twist and then I wrap. So you twist and then wrap twist and then wrap y'all got it let me know in the comments if y'all got the technique it took me a while to really understand like how to do bantu knots properly but it really helps and i stuck a little hairpin in there just to keep it from unraveling since it's such a thick section of hair you can do this with two sections if you like but i just did it with one so i put some hairpins in there and those are the wider ones I'm still going to put my satin scrunchie around it as well. And then I'm going to be done. I get to sleep comfortably, keep my hair protected and safe while I'm indoors, or if I have to run outside. So be careful with those edges. Don't tie the scarf directly on your edges or make sure you kind of remove it back so you don't have any problems. Thanks for watching.